Six years ago, a handful of new bugs were added to a closed alpha build of Deep Rock Galactic. Maggots, spitball infectors, cave vines, deep torus swarms, and finally, loot bugs. Most of the creatures I listed don't really bring enough to a conversation for a whole video, but that just isn't the case for loot bugs. Named by previous DRG employees, the loot bug is a gentle grub that prefers to eat nitra and gold over anything else, slowly traveling around the cave and grabbing up anything it can. This diet comes in pretty handy, as most hostile creatures don't really want to bite into a grub filled with rocks, so if you find yourself in a situation with a lot of hostile creatures, just start stuffing rocks down your mouth. Just eat a ton of rocks, and they'll probably run away. I don't know, it's kind of weird though, usually rocks are the thing coming out of the dwarves. Since nothing really wants to eat these guys, they're widespread across the whole planet, residing in every nook and cranny they can find. Sitting there, not doing much, just eating stuff off the ground. Being docile, cute, and existing everywhere is quite the trifecta of traits, splitting the DRG community like nothing else in the game. Okay, maybe industrial sabotage is close too. I wanted to run through everything there is about loot bugs, some neat lesser known details, where I sit in this eternal moral debate, and even a way to extract minerals that won't end in their untimely looting. Let's pull out a card and run through the stats. Loot bugs reside in all biomes, have 100 health, no resistances, no weaknesses, and are immune to lures and pheromone aggro. The only thing that really gets these guys moving around is shiny stuff, which I'm sure the dwarves can relate to, maybe even dislike them for. They have one attack listed in the miner's manual, Mineral Chomp. Loot bugs spawn with a random amount of two resources, gold and nitra, the latter of which being more important to any dwarf it comes across. The amount each loot bug holds can vary pretty drastically. Sometimes you get a couple nitra and gold, Sometimes you get a quarter of a resupply. These bugs can easily bring a substantial amount of resources to any team depository and change a mission when ammo is tight. I'm sure some of you know this, but it's worth mentioning that loot bugs do eat up minerals sitting on the ground in caves, and the game will actually keep track of what it consumes and drop the according things on death. What some of you might not know is that there's some hidden magic in those grubs. Any resources that enter a loot bug seemingly increase when dropped again. Loot bugs drop 1.5 times the total minerals consumed, which is an interesting detail to think about. What if DRG could use this to their advantage, maybe convince them to eat up a ton of morkite? They could use loot bugs like little mineral piggy banks and increase their profits. Is it kind of messed up? Yeah. All this talking about eating has me hungry, but not for nitra or gold. For this video's sponsor, that was up for a segue, isn't that pretty good, right? I eat food, but I'm not very great at it. I either don't eat enough during the day or I eat some I shouldn't like fast food and end up regretting it. That's why I've been eating meals from Factor. Factor delivers fresh and pre-prepared meals to your door weekly, which is great for saving its customers time, whether it's at the grocery store or cooking. Their menu updates weekly with a variety of over 27 different meals that accommodate for many dietary restrictions and different options for the week. In my first box, I picked out what I wanted because I kind of just like the process of choosing all the little things I'm getting each week. It's pretty fun. My favorites so far were the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken and the jalapeno beef mac and cheese. I like jalapenos, if you couldn't tell. If you want to save time shopping or improve your diet, click the link in the description or head to go.factor75.com and use code FACTORSE35599 to get 50% off your first box. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Other than the obvious part where you get resources from them, there really isn't much to loot bugs from a gameplay perspective other than riding them. Uh, that's kind of fun. It's undeniable that loot bugs are one of the cutest parts of DRG. They make funny little noises, they wiggle around, and you can pet them. I mean, how, how can you not like them? I mean, they even have plushes, which you currently can't buy. It's very sad, but I did get one. And check this guy out. Here, there he is. I named him Squimby. He's a cool guy. Everyone say, yeah, Squimby. Everyone in the comments say, yeah, Squimby, yeah. A lot of the fan base and even the dwarves feel guilt or full on refuse looting these bugs, which is understandable. When I first started playing the game, I refused to attack loot bugs, at least on purpose. I, I would accidentally hurt them like all the time and feel really bad. But other than that, I would simply ignore them. I was playing on lower hazards, deep dives weren't in the game yet, and I just wasn't ever really struggling with Nitra enough to really consider it. But as the difficulty I played increased and I started doing elite deep dives, loot bugs became a lot more tempting. In those moments where you're low on Nitra, or where you're sitting at like 75, and you can't find a vein of this stuff, 
but there is a little guy sitting right there. It's either find some, which who knows how long that'll take, or take out the guy and have a resupply within a few seconds. Outside of that more common case, in on-site refining, loot bugs drive me up a wall. In the current version of the game, these creatures are more dense in refining missions. The reason behind this isn't important at all and does not matter, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. Sorry. It basically is just a problem with how the game spawns these creatures. The pieces that make up a cave are usually more spread out than they are on on-site refining. You know, they're like in a mining mission, the cave pieces are pretty strung out and pretty far apart. In the case of refining, they're very densely packed and there's quite a few pieces packed in there. Each of these pieces has a certain quota of loot bugs that it spawns, so they appear more densely packed in on-site refining. Next time you play one of these, you'll see what I'm talking about and I'll have changed your brain forever and those neurons, they're not gonna fire it the same way anymore. They're gonna fire in a whole new way, yeah, you're gonna have to get used to it. So I wish you best of luck, um, have a good life. So when you have a room with a bunch of little dudes in it and pipes, uh, there's a pretty high chance you're gonna have a head-on collision with a slug blazing down a pipe over the speed limit. So I'm gonna be honest, I pretty much just take out all the bugs I see on on-site refining. But outside of on-site refining, I kind of have a weird like rule set in my brain that I've created for taking out loot bugs. If I'm sitting okay on Nitra and I'm not struggling with the mission, I kind of just avoid them. It's so funny because old me would be so disappointed. Like I used to see people in public lobbies do this stuff and be insulted. I taught all my friends that loot bugs are our friends too. And we don't attack those sweet and gentle little guys, uh, especially considering that there's a planet where this exists. Those little grubs are glimmers of hope on a heartless planet like Hoxie's. Speaking of glimmer, you might find yourself in the presence of a rare, more fancy kind of loot bug, a golden kind. These have a 15% chance to spawn in any mission, and oh boy, are you in for a treat if you lack the empathy to steal that gold. They usually have multiple trips of gold stored away, and it's definitely one of the more time-efficient sources of gold in the game. Even more time-efficient, if you use everyone's favorite perk, it's a bug thing. This perk is used widely across the board by everyone who plays this game. It is a must-have equipable upgrade that makes you 10 times better at DRG, no doubt. Except for the fact that the previous 43 words I just said, or 229 characters if you're feeling fancy about it, were a complete lie and this perk sucks. Though it would actually kind of be handy for me on refining missions apparently. But what if I told you there's a way around this eternal debate? What if you could get all the minerals out of a loot bug and not hurt them? Or well, you, you do hurt them still, but th they don't die. In Season 3, a new tool called the Lithofoamer was added to the game. It's only available on missions with Lithophage Outbreak Mutators, so you're not going to be able to do this all the time, but regardless, you can do it in those. If you attack or pet a loot bug, there's a small chance it'll drop a piece of the minerals it has in it, like a little peace offering. Since the Lithofoamer does almost no damage and attacks really fast, it can cause a loot bug to drop a ton of resources relatively fast, enough to get all of them out of it without killing it. This is like if the trolley problem had a third option where you just lift the train up over the tracks. I didn't know about this until recently, and I just think it's so funny that it happened like this. This is why video games are great, right? Because you put new things into it, you update it. And these new things can interact with every single thing that was previously in the game. And sometimes that creates funny scenarios, like this one, where you can just uh, shoot toothpaste at a loot bug and it just drops a bunch of stuff. And I love that, I, I, that's amazing. This is why games are awesome. And I'm so glad it's a thing. To help those who wanna reduce their loot bug count, I present a point-based rating system of how badly you need to loot some bugs. I call it System to Uphold Privilege in Docility. Or you could call it Stupid for short. There are four different categories to go through, difficulty, length, ammo count, and nitro. Run through each of these and choose which best applies to your current situation on Hoxies, add it up, and see where you fall. The more points you have in the end, the more likely that you should be doing some looting. Hopefully this can help decrease the amount of needless harm done to such a wonderful species on Hoxies. That's pretty much all I've got for these little guys. What's your personal thoughts on loot bugs? Do you spare all of them, loot all you can in sight, or somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments and I'll be reading them as usual. If you like my videos and want to see more get made and have zero ads while watching them, check out my Patreon. It starts at only $2 and it's the best way to support the channel in the future. Thank you to everyone who's done this so far, it helps so much. Thanks for watching my video and if you haven't, go check out Fishing and Video Games and also the Pickaxe, I'm pretty happy with that one. Rockin' stuff.